Is there anybody there? Oh, it's not Halloween yet. <laughs> anybody there? Am I alone? I do talk to myself, but... Oh, hello, Kath. Hi, Kath. I have a willing victim. That's good to know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to hang around and talk nonsense until a few more people appear. Hi, Mum. And hi, Sue. Here we go. We've got a few people. So I will start by saying hello and welcome to Izzy's Crafty Bees. And welcome to the crazy bee house. This bee house, beehive this evening. I feel a little bit kind of, I don't know, um, had a really busy day, busy couple of days because... I worked all weekend helping Andrew on a job for a customer. Been helping him do a roof, not a big roof on a house, on a sunroof. But I've been up and down ladders all weekend, so um, I've really needed my two days, my two non-working days, to be my days off. And for someone who's used to having a four-day weekend, I feel really mean saying that now. <laughs> um, I felt really tired yesterday, and today I've just had a lot on, so I've been rushing about doing stuff. But hey. Welcome. Hello, everyone. Oh, hi, Jackie. And I can see you all waving. Lovely. Fabulous. So, um, I will, as always, start at the top of the show. As my mum reminded me at tea time, I had to say, at the top of the show. <laughs> I will um, just mention a few things that have made me happy. But unlike normal weeks, when I give you a wrap up at the end of things that are happening at the moment, I'm going to do that up front. And then I'm going to give you another reminder and I'll probably talk about things as I'm crafting along this evening. I've not designed this evening's project to be a make along, more of an inspirational project and hopefully inspire you. Um, oh, hang on. Angela's there and mum said no sound at first, but she's got it now. That's good. Don't worry. You don't always need sound with me. You can tell what I'm on about. <laughs> So, um, yeah, things that have made me happy this week. Well, this morning, the first thing that made me happy, first first thing, eating my breakfast, big noise outside. What is that that's going on? I said to Andrew, is it a, is, is it a wagon going past? It was finally the crop being taken out of the field at the back. My garden backs onto a field, and this year the crop in the field has been maize, and I hate it when they grow maize. Firstly, you never get any freebies. If they grow spuds, you get a free spud or two at the end. <laughs> just saying. But with maize, it just seems to grow bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. And it feels like it's kind of going to come into your garden. So I'm not a fan of when they grow maize. Anyway, it's been done. Hi, Sharon and hi, Brenda. So the maize has gone. The field is empty. Woohoo! So that's made me happy. The weather today has been spectacular here in Retford. It's just been beautiful all day. So the weather made me happy. Um, and yesterday it seemed that one or two more TV programmes, new TV programmes, were starting for the autumn season. That made me really happy. I'm not a massive telly addict, but come autumn and winter I don't mind a bit of um snuggling up under a blanket glass of wine watching a bit of telly and there has been very little new tv obviously with the situation this year so last friday gogglebox started again i am a massive gogglebox fan and last night um a comedy series called ghosts which isn't it's it's the news the start of the new second series started last night on bbc if you've not watched it it's really, really funny. It's absolutely brilliant. I loved it um, last year. Oh, hi, Kim. Um, and, yeah, series two started last night. And it's just one of those really good sitcoms, a proper sitcom that's actually funny. And it's not, there's no vulgarity or rudeness. And I'm not a prude either, but it is just a really funny. Anyway, if you've not seen it, Ghosts, brilliant, really funny. And if you didn't see the first series, you might want to try and find that and binge watch it. <laughs> so, oh, and there's a stamp sale coming. So that made me enormously happy. So I'm going to go back to my notes now. Before I start crafting, I'm going to give a very quick, hi Barbara, a very quick sort of run through what is happening at the moment. Because there's a lot going on with regard to stamping up. 
and I don't want you to miss out on anything. So if you have a wish list of stamp sets starting at 11 o'clock tonight until 11 o'clock tomorrow night, there is a stamp sale. So it's like a flash stamp sale. Now I want to stress this is selected stamp sets only a selection of stamp sets from the annual catalogue and there is a list but I've purposefully not published the list because it is in three different languages it doesn't run in order of the catalogue it doesn't give any pictures of the stamp sets so what I want you to do if you are interested in getting 15% off selected stamp sets is either at 11 o'clock tonight or sometime tomorrow as soon as you can is go to my shop my Izzy's crafty bees dot stamping up dot net website and there's a link on my Facebook page to my shop go to my shop and there will be a link to the stamp sale and that will take you to the to the pictures and and the list of all the stamp sets that are included in the sale because that that PDF list is just really messy it's in all these different languages because we cover Europe and the page numbers are not there. It's really difficult to wade through. I waded through it today. It took me ages. Um, but there are some good savings. So that's number one. If you've got a wish list still of stamp sets from the annual catalogue, that's the big book, then click on my shop and find out what's in the sale at 15% off. Um, I have got a couple of offers on until the end of September. Oh, let before I move on. So that sale only lasts until 11 o'clock tomorrow night. So once you've checked, if you are a local customer to me and you want to order any of them, please message me. Please don't comment under this video. I don't get flagged notifications of comments under these videos. I have to actually go back and check whether there are comments there. And I nearly missed um, a comment from Kim last week who was interested in a bundle. So if you're ever interested in making a purchase and you don't want to purchase direct from my website because you want to save your postage and packaging, I am putting an order in tomorrow. I'll be putting it in about 10 o'clock tomorrow evening, latest. So if you do want any of those stamp sets or indeed if you want to just place an order with me in that goes in tomorrow, then message me on Messenger, on WhatsApp, on text message. Just message me um, because I will be sure to get a message. And if you haven't had a reply from me, message me again. That's really important. Um, so I've got a couple of offers also running in September. And they are if you want to buy the new Stampin' Up, Stampin' Cut and Emboss machine, then I'm offering a free paper trimmer just until the end of September that's a really good offer um, if also if you want to order any bundle from either the annual catalogue or the autumn winter catalogue I'm going to call it the mini catalogue then I am also offering you a free pack of DSP now I want to say that that free pack of DSP is um, one of the £10 something Packs. So it's the regular DSP, none of the speciality DSPs with the foils on or any of the speciality ones. So again, if you want to place an order for a bundle, text me, message me, send me a messenger message or a WhatsApp message. Please don't just comment in my Izzy's Crafty Bees Facebook page because I may miss it completely and you may miss out on your offer. Um, there's still a join my team offer running until the end of September. I'm going to recap these at the end, but I wanted to get these in up front because I don't want you to miss out on the stamp sale. Um, I also just want to mention a couple of save the dates. Saturday the 3rd of October is World Card Making Day and I'm going to be doing a live on that Saturday, 10 o'clock till 12, and I'm going to do that in collaboration with Alison Langford who is a fellow demonstrator and happens to be my best friend. So we're going to do a World Card Making Day, a couple of hours, Saturday morning. Um, we'll put out a reminder. We're going to do um, a promotion on that. So that's just a quick save the date. And the other save the date, if you want to join me for a make-along live with the kit, so that means that you can make the projects that I make, 
is Tuesday the 6th of October so that's two weeks today is the next make along live with the stamp set with the kit and I'll be telling you about that at the end it is the um yeah, I'll tell you about that at the end or as I'm going through. It's the Have a Hoot stamp set, I think it's called, the one with the owl in the mini catalogue. Um, and I'll be telling you the details. But I am placing the order for those stamp sets this Friday latest. So I need you to just be thinking about that as we start to do some crafting. So I'm going to crack on. Oh, bless you, Catherine. I'm just seeing some comments and Catherine's worked her way through it. I think that means she's worked her way through the list because as Catherine is a demonstrator, she's had access to the list of stamp sets. It is a work your way through it, isn't it? It's not easy. So here we go. I'm going to put my glasses and I'm going to spin you around. Bear with me. So have a look at my inspirational wall and we'll spin you around. Let me just give you a twizzle and bear with some of this jiggling about till I get you all nice and level the other thing that made me really happy this week was we got our new internet provider um, yesterday so that was a slight technical challenge on my part having to swap things over so as always I just want to point out that I'm on social media in all these places at Izzy's Crafty Bees if you ever want to find me make a quick note of the September host code if you're ordering online but you're not local to me um, that's the host code to use and that will be closing on Friday of this week so I will put a note on my Facebook page so if you're looking to order early next week maybe payday is not until the very end of the month and you're looking to order early next week check back to my Facebook page I may well have a new host code for you so let's get that out of the way and who likes my little nature quest so just before tea, I had a walk down to the post box to send a birthday card to my niece. And I collected all these leaves on my way back because I loved the colours. Look at this. This is from a bramble. Am I getting this in focus? Here's some hawthorns. Two gorgeous maple. These are Danish maples and the road down to the village is lined with Danish maples. And it's just so beautiful to see them changing. They're just starting now. And um, this was a cherry tree. And I really liked the colours of this cherry tree. It's very dark green. It's like um, garden green with a bit of mer merry merlot. And this was a little oak tree. So, And then I feel like I've got a reveal. I've got a big reveal. <laughs> Look, I picked some conkers up. So for any of my um, international friends, these are horse chestnuts. And in England, we call them various names. But where I'm from in West Yorkshire... We call them conkers. Some people call them chezzies or cheggers. And um, we say when we were at school, do you want a game of cheggers? And we string them up and play a game. So there you go. That's my little nature quest. So let's move all of that from my desk and let's get crafting. So the project I'm bringing you today is this piece of home decor. And I've used um, a, it's actually a um, embroidery hoop. I've just realised I haven't got a second one out of the cupboard. I will go rummaging in my cupboard from time to time and just try and find things that I've not used, that I've maybe had in a class. This was a Christmas class a good few years ago. Some of you may have been to that class. Um, and I've got a few of these embroidery hoops left. Quite unusual because it's a square one and it's a plastic embroidery hoop. And it has this middle... That just pops out you can see how flexible it is and you just pop it out and I've just simply decorated it with cardstock so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly dash to my cupboard and grab another one I can show you it's just here so I know you're going to start commenting and asking me where I got it from and to be honest I absolutely can't remember but it may well have been um no, can't remember. If it comes to me, I'll mention it. Um, but if you do a Google search for square embroidery hoops, I know that these come up. It's got a metallic hoop on the top. And the way it works is it just simply pops out. So this, this middle pops out like this. So I'm going to use this to draw around as a template. And then this is quite flexible it's made to look like wood grain but it's plastic 
So I'm going to use this middle as a template to draw around. I'm going to pop my original just to one side. Um, but I'm going to use a different colourway this evening. And I want to talk to you first of all about the actual bundle. So I've got a... I mentioned the offer in September. If you place an order for any bundle, um, I'm going to um, allow you to choose some designer series paper for free. So I'm going to use this bundle, the beautiful autumn bundle on page 46. Um, and the bundle itself is £46.75 and it includes a stamp set and three punches. So let me show you. Bring this back in. Let me show you the stamp set. And I want to just point out something that it is actually a two-step stamping. There's a little image, a little word there. It's a two-step stamp set. So what that means is you get this stamp and this stamp. And I'm actually going to use this one as a two-step on my project this evening. But you can see that there's a solid stamp for each of these um, main images. There isn't one for this one. And what you can do is you can stamp the outline image and then stamp a colour over the top, which saves. If you're not mega um, brilliant at colouring in or you really hate colouring in or you just actually want to work quickly, you can actually stamp the colour over the top, which makes it a lot quicker. And there's some really lovely sentiments. And then the punches are these three beauties. So we've got an oak leaf and a maple leaf and then a really cute... Um, acorn as well so a nice size and these stamp out so they they do work exactly with this with the stamp set so they actually punch out the actual shapes which I'm going to demonstrate so you will see that as we work through the project now the um, gilded autumn suite the actual it's the bundle is part of a suite so let me explain suite so suite is a collection of prod, uh, products and the suite comprises of some designer series paper, the bundle, that's the stamp set and the punches, some metallic sheets, some trinkets and some ribbons. That's the entire suite. And you can save money by buying the actual suite in its entirety or you can buy these items individually. So that's how a suite works. A suite of products actually works. You can buy them individually or you can buy them as a an entire suite and you save 10% I think because of the bundle. Now I'm going to use this colour palette to recreate this project but using this colour palette this evening. So I've picked out my inks, Early Espresso, Mint Macaron, Cajun Craze and Crumb Cake. So that's the, that's the um, colour palette I'm going to work on. But the first thing I did was I took a sheet of... Let me just move my inks across. Um, a sheet of very vanilla thick cardstock as my base. I'm just going to re-angle my camera a bit. Let me just see if I can get a better workspace. Are we good there? Sorry about the jiggling, everyone. Are we in screen there? Move those up a bit like I'm right the way up my desk. That's better. I think we're more in shot there, aren't we? Super. I usually work to this line and feel that we get everything in shot. Good, good. Sorry for waffling. So I'm going to use my inner um, piece from the embroidery hoop. I've actually got something sticky on there, but not to worry. And a pencil. And I'm going to just draw round to get approximately the shape, which I'm going to hand cut. I think the reason I've maybe got these in my cupboard is because I've demoed them before and then taken the actual project off the embroidery hoop. So let me, I'm going to use big scissors and you can just talk amongst yourselves while I do this. I'm just going to carefully trim round. I'm going to show you a little trick with the corners as well. 
at some point when we start to assemble the project. So while I'm doing this, let's all of us share some happiness. What's made everyone happy this week? Oh, hi, Donna. Donna's joining in. Who's going to share something that made them happy this week? Let's just make ourselves a bit happier. There's enough doom and gloom around. So now I've cut out my... Um, base piece I can work I can start to work on it and I just work really simply when I'm doing something like this so I just reached across my desk and I found this in my adhesives box um oh Kim says the sunshine made her happy absolutely in my adhesives box I've got this roll of tape and I thought that looks about the right size to give me a bit of a guide so I took my roll of tape and I just lightly drew round with a pencil that gives me a circle to start working with happy good good and then what I'm going to start with is a, you possibly can't see on my original but there is there are some stamped images actually on the cardstock and then what I've done is I've stamped and punched lots of images from the set and worked on building that wreath up so that's what I'm going to do, but I'm just going to use a different colour way because we're going to use that different colour palette as suggested in the catalogue. So I'm going to use um, the three leaf sprig, I'm going to call it. Now what I've done beforehand when I've mounted it on my block is I've actually laid the sprig. I'll take it off and show you. You can see that the stem is reasonably straight and I want it to sort of bend around that circle. I want it to be a little bit more bent. So what I've done is I've actually positioned it on my block. So what I do is position the stamp and given it a bit of a, a bend and then gone back to my circle and thought, yes, that looks that looks good so it's it's actually with these photopolymer stamps it's something that you can actually do is give straight um, lines a bit of a curve you can actually do that as well with your sentiments it takes a little bit more faffing but that's a useful thing to think about now I've just seen that I've made blobs all over I don't know where those blobs are coming from but I'm going to cover them up with ink so I'm going to start with mint macaron and I'm going to use I actually stamped myself a bit of a colour guide earlier, so I'm just going to pop that off screen but in front of me. So I'm going to use Mint Macaron and I'm going to stamp just maybe three of these leaves around that circle. And you know what? It's when you're making something like this, it really is just trial and error and, um, well, let's not say error, just trial. Just try things, just go for it. There's no such thing as wrong. I'm just rummaging for a piece of scratch paper. I need a little piece of grid so I can do some stamp off. Oh, let me just have a little piece of grid here because I'm going to use this solid three leaf sprig now, but I want to stamp off and then stamp on and I will have to stand so I can make sure I get this in lined up there we go so you can see how that adds colour without colouring in so I've stamp off and then stamp on even with the camera being completely in my eye line Yeah, with um, things like wreaths and patterns and things, it is a case of just get on with it. Don't overthink it, just stamp it. Because the more you overthink it, the more precise you want to be. Whereas actually you want to go fairly random. I mean, you can be precise, but I find just being a bit more random helps. Um, okay, so I've got my mint macaron colour down. I'm going to now 
um, just stamp a few maple leaves. Just pop that there. And again, I'm going to go fairly random, but reasonably sort of. Like we'll have one on the outside, one on the inside. And all this is doing is giving me a bit of a background. I've blurred that one, but it doesn't matter because I'm going to cover it up. Just bear in mind, I'm going to be laying down a lot of stamped and punched leaves. And this is really to give me a framework to stick those punched leaves on, to be honest. Let's just close that ink cup. And I'm going to do some oak leaves and I'm going to do those in crumb cake. And again, this is just filling in. Might not see them once we've got leaves stuck over. But let's just fill in the gaps a little bit. Oh, see, I've got one missing. So I'll cover that up with a punched out leaf. And I do want some leaves coming into the middle. And you could do this project entirely stamped flat but as we've got matching punches and I happen to have them I thought well let's go for the punches so we've built a circle we've got something now to work on so I'm not going to stamp any acorns flat because I'm going to actually stamp and punch all of the acorns but what I'm going to do just before I move on is I will just rub out those pencil lines. I really don't even think you'd see them if I didn't rub them out. So I'm going to fill in. Let's rub them out in any case. Okay, so I'm just going to pop this to one side now and I'm going to take my piece of very vanilla that I started with. So I started with one sheet of A4. I'm just going to chop that long bit there. And I'm going to now start to stamp some of the images again that I can punch out using the punches. So I'm going to start with my oak leaf in crumb cake. And I'm going to do about seven. And... Then I'm going to take an aqua painter that's just damp and just grab a piece of kitchen paper and um, I'm, I've got a pot of water I don't think you can see it's just off camera and I'm just going to dampen it I don't want it too wet but I'm going to do some sort of cheating colouring in I don't want it to be these images to be um, what's the word just plain but I don't want to add any colour over the top. This is just another way. Really, I'm just demonstrating to you that I can actually smudge this ink because our ink is water-based. And with a damp paintbrush, I can actually smudge it. And I'm working really quickly. I'm not doing anything technical. I'm just smudging the ink. If I just bring that up to the camera... You might be able to see that. I've just smudged the ink just to give it a bit more depth of colour, I suppose. I've not done anything on this one. I've put some depth of colour by that two-step stamping on the mint macaron. I'm not doing anything to the other leaves underneath. I'm just going to leave them as they are. And the reason I wanted to just smudge them is I just didn't want them to appear... Um, well, it's very vanilla, but I didn't want them to appear too white. I wanted them to have some colour. So that's all I'm doing to them. Let's just close that ink pad for the moment and let's stamp some acorns. Now, mistake I made when I made my first one was I stamped my acorns because it feels natural to stamp them this way all the way along. Then I came to punch and the punch is the other way up. So I'm going to <laughs> stamp my acorns as if they were hanging down off the tree. How many did I use on there? Let's do five. I've 
just got my eye off of comments so if we're commenting I apologize because I'm just working down here and you're all up there now again I'm just using a damp brush and I'm just going to take that color from the ink I'm doing nothing other than just moving my damp brush across the stamped image <clears throat> And the reason that um, it works quite nicely on this cardstock is that this is um, thick cardstock. So we have two thick cardstocks. We have Whisper White and Very Vanilla that come in ordinary and they come in thick. And the thick cardstock can take a bit of water. It's not as good for real water colouring techniques but it can take a bit of water whereas the regular very vanilla in the regular whisper white doesn't really like to take on water it wrinkles up if you start to brush it with any kind of vigour it will pill so it will go bitty and pill up but because this is um, the thick cardstock not only is it good for making your card bases from if you want a neutral colour, um, it's it's also quite good for um, taking a bit of water. So I'm just going to twizzle that round. I'm going to go in with my maple leaf now, which I'm going to use Cajun Craze again. And I'll do about seven of those, I think. Now, on my original card, I did maple leaves in two colours, and I'm going to do the same on this two, three, four, five, six, seven. And you can see I'm doing quite a bit of stamping and I will be doing a bit of punching, but it's really not taking that long. And I find this technique, just moving the colour about, very forgiving so even if you're not the best at colouring in and doing all of that creating light and shade and all of that jazz you can do this just a damp paintbrush it's not wet it's just it's been in the water and then I've just flicked it off on the kitchen paper I'm dying to say I've made some happy little leaves like Bob Ross. Ah, oh, I love that guy. He's awesome. I love it when he does that on the side of his thing and he does his big fat pink brushes. He's just marvellous. He's just so brilliant. So I'm going to... Is he still on at the moment? I don't know. I haven't watched him for ages. I'm just going to clean this maple. And I'm going to stamp another few of those, but I'm going to stamp them in mint macaron. I don't want to lose that mint macaron colour. It's so lovely. Ooh, that's not a good one, is it? Let's try harder. What's the stamping technique? Tap, tap, tap. Straight down, straight up. Let's see how many we can fit on. might just have another couple on here. That's better. Let me just close a couple of ink pads. And smudge some of that ink. I don't think the mint macaron wants to smudge quite as much as the darker pigmented inks or the darker concentrated inks but we will just move it about a bit anyway. Probably not coming up I'm going to leave that one probably not coming across on camera but in real life there's a bit of movement of ink but not too much oh I've got two over here let me 
two that got away. So it's moving a little bit. Okay, so I'm ready to do some punching of shapes now. So hope you're all still sticking with me. Jen's watching. Hi, Jen. Now, Jen, you posted on Instagram. You posted a I said yes picture. And I was a bit confused. I thought you'd already said yes. Had you already said yes or hadn't you said yes? I'm a bit confused. Anyway, it was a lovely picture. How are the plans coming on? So when I'm punching, you can see these punches just line up beautifully. When I'm punching small things, I just pop my hand over to stop them from just leaping everywhere and onto the floor and down my top and into my cup of tea. And just get them lined up. So my technique for punching is I put my stamped image into the punch, get it nicely lined up, and then I give it a half a nip so it's gripped and then I go with a full squeeze I'll do that again without putting my hand across so line it up a nip so this thumb and finger is giving it a nip so it's not going to fall out and then a full squeeze so that's my punching technique now I could give you a couple of tips as well about punching um, that's, that sounded wrong. <laughs> Punching stamped images. Okay, so if you have um, limited dexterity in, if you've got any arthritis or anything in your thumb joints, any limited dexterity, and you feel that you want to punch not in midair like I was just doing, you want to punch flat on the desk, what you might find is that you get some spin and wobble because our punches are designed with this locating piece here so that they can be stacked so if you look I can stack my punches because they locate on top of each other so this sometimes causes spin when you put them down on the desk so what I find is useful is your stamping pierce mat that stops it from spinning and then you can actually put your card in with your stamped image get it nicely lined up struggling a little bit because of where the camera is and you can give it that half a nip with your fingers but you can actually put your hand flat and punch flat on the desk and that's quite a nice technique to use if you've got um, limited strength in your thumb whether it's through arthritis or injury carpal tunnel um, just weakness if you've been helping your husband all weekend doing a roofing job and you've been fetching and carrying and your hands are aching or you've been stamping too much we're not going to punch that one so that's just a little tip now the stamp and pierce mats no longer in the catalog but there is still an item number so if you haven't got a stamp and pierce mat and you do want to order one please send me a message and I will um, let you have the number because I'd have to look it up. I haven't got it off hand. I'd have to go and look it up. Equally, you could go to my online shop and you could type in Pierce Mat in the search bar and you would find it that way. They're not expensive, but it's a really useful piece of kit to have. I think I had a couple under here, didn't I? Let's just punch these out. And even though I've had quite a bit of punching of shapes, I'm hoping that you'll agree that that didn't take too long to produce. So let me just pop all that to one side. So we've used our three matching punches that come as part of the bundle. So I'm going to pop those to one side. And I'm going to start to assemble, let me just move that mat out of the way, 
to assemble the actual wreath. And I've just noticed another piece of pencil mark there. Not that it really matters. And I'm going to use good old multi-purpose liquid glue. And I am going to, as I work round, I could use my stamp and pierce mat or I could use my trusty whiteboard rubber for this because I'm going to just give each piece a shape as I'm going round the actual assembly. So I'm going to use my large ball of my ball ended scoring tool that fits in the end of my take your pick tool. So I'm going to use that and I'm just going to give it a press and that's all I'm doing and it just makes it a little bit more um, of a shape. Where did I put my glue? And now you're going to watch as I just go round the whole thing. I've added a dot of glue, that is all. And I'm just going to stick my leaves and build up this wreath. And I'm going to work fairly randomly. Um, in fact, I'm taking that out because I personally just prefer to hold it quickly. go around and add in because I can use the small ball to press them down and I'm working my way round um, I'm facing all my leaves are going one way so I'm sort of going clockwise I'm not turning any of them for example that way I'm going all the, all the same way and we'll just add an acorn. Now for the acorn, I'm actually going to shape it from the back. So it's roundy rather than, um, what's the word? It's not concave. What's the opposite to concave? And I'm going to use a mini dimensional for the acorns. Oh, I can't think of the word. Am I going mad? Is anybody commenting? Have I got have I really got six people watching me? That's amazing that you're not watching that blooming cakey program with the lovely Matt Lucas hosting this year. I think you're all fabulous. Thank you so much for sticking with me. I so, my heart sank when they said the new series of Bake Off is coming on a Tuesday. I was like, no, you can't do it to me. All my loyal fans will leave me and desert me. And they'll all start making cakes. And I know you can watch me on catch up and you can watch them on catch up. But, you know, I enjoy having people watching me while I'm doing this. Makes life fun. Now I'm liking this. Um, I'm liking this colour palette very much. I wasn't sure. When I decided at tea time to go for it. Let's have a few of these. Let's get some leaves up here. I love mint macaron. It's one of my favourite colours in any case. I think it's just lovely. But it isn't what I'd call an autumn colour. Let's have another cleaf in there. Oops, what am I doing? Out of sync. Shall we have one going inside? A bit more. Mm, no, I think it's right the first time. And that's the beauty of using multi purpose. You do get, you know, a little while just to change your mind. I think it's time for an acorn. Am I on camera there doing that? Yes, I am. That's good. Let's check. You're all very quiet. Not many comments coming up. I bet you're all watching Bake Off. You've just got, you've just been polite. I bet you're all watching Bake Off and you've just got me on live, twittering away on mute. <laughs> I have no faith, do I? <laughs> 
have confidence in yourself, is he? <laughs> I know Sue will be watching because we had a conversation on mess on name comments earlier and Sue said I'm more entertaining anyway. Which is such flattery because I'm sure that Matt Lucas has got BAFTAs and things. Don't you just love how just pressing a piece of card makes it do that? I just love that. It's gone all 3D. definitely want an oak leaf in there because I want to try and cover this one up that didn't stamp very well. And I will show you the DSP that comes as part of this suite because I've got it ready. I'm actually um, going ahead with my Craftanoon on Sunday. Really disappointingly had hoped to have a room full of people um, crafting socially distant I hired the local village hall um, because I know that my local crafters have missed not meeting in person so I thought that finally I'll book somewhere we'll have a socially distant safe afternoon just making things it can be bring your own project or I could do a project for you Got it all booked and arranged and now the rule of six has come in. Now we are still meeting, but there are only going to be six people there, not, you know, a room full. The hall said initially up to 19 people. Um, so I'm really looking forward to Sunday. I know Kath's coming, if Kath's still there. What's mum say? Bugger bake off, I don't want to think about cake. Good for you, mum. Who needs cake in their life? I don't even like cake, <laughs> said no one. Um, yeah, so I'm really looking forward to um, Sunday and we are using, well, so I have six people and I have a mix, half and half. Three are bringing their own projects and three are doing um, projects by me using this beautiful autumn um, stamp set. So I've designed some note cards in a box. How am I getting on? I think I'm an acorn short. A sandwich short of a picnic. No, I'm an acorn short of an oak tree. Let's have some more acorns in there. Um, so that's going to be fun. That is going to be nice on Sunday. I was really, you know, listening out to what Boris has said about safety i'm absolutely determined that we will be absolutely sensible and well spaced safe we're going to be washing our hands we're going to be keeping our distance we may even have to wear face masks i'm not sure about that one yet but we'll be two meters apart in any case so it's going to be nice it's going to be good and we're going to use this stamp set so that's enough about the situation and the c word don't want to talk about it um yeah if anybody saw the pictures i did post pictures of the actual note cards and decorated box that i've designed if anybody would like um, that to order that as a kit in the post with a um, writ set of written instructions. That's a that's a dimensional on this one. Let me concentrate. Um, with a kit with a set of written instructions, a PDF of instructions. Then please let me know. Please send me a message or drop me a comment because I can always um, do a kit in the post. Does that need to be more that way? That way, that way, right, okay. I 
really loved um, using this stamp set and punches. They're just fabulous. How many leaves have we got left? What colours have we got left? Let's have a look. I've got one more acorn. Do we need another acorn? Yes, we do. I think we need another acorn about there. So let's pop that one on. You can see how quickly this project's made up. What time is it? It's only 10 to 8. And I spent the first 10 minutes talking. So it's not a long um, piece of home decor to make. I mean, we haven't finished yet, but you can see how quickly this piece is, has um, built up. Oh, Mary's saying hello, Izzy. Let me have a look. And who else? Sue's saying, I would never have put mint macaron and Cajun craze together, but they look fabulous, don't they just? And that's a tip I will give you. So in the catalogue, they've put this colour palette together and it's the colours that are in the designer series paper. Sorry, I'm pointing at it here. But they've started, or we have started, Stamping Up have started putting in these colour palettes where there are sweets often when there's a um, matching designer series paper and I just think it's a great idea to actually put the, the colour palette in the catalogue because it's something that I often hear from crafters is how do you think of the colour palette how do you think of your colour scheme for your cards or whatever now I'm feeling that I need some more Cajun craze here and I've got two mint macarons so I'm just going to grab my card stock back <clears throat> and I'm going to quickly stamp and I think that was mint macaron last so we're just going to stamp I also think I might need a couple more oak leaves let me just do a couple of those and Please, while I'm here, let's get those punched out. So I think I originally went with about seven of each image. There's not and five acorns. There's nothing wrong with. Oh, we need to do some. Where's my pet? Oh, there we are heck just need to come back in with that damp brush and just move some of that ink about let's not rush let's take our time it's about chillaxing more used to seeing me mention my facebook lives as a reminder on a monday and then first thing for a project well, the actual project didn't actually get made until about two o'clock this afternoon. Maybe a little bit earlier, just after lunch anyway today. Because I've just had so much to catch up on with not having a weekend. Um, I had half an idea that I wanted to do this, but actually up until probably breakfast time today... I also had half a mind to continue using the coming home bundle that I started using last week. Um, I just was feeling autumn-y. It was just such lovely weather. And I can see the trees turning. That I just thought, let's have a look at this. The reason I'm pressing these is because they're still a little bit damp, so I'm not rubbing them like I did earlier. So let's just fill in some of these gaps along here. Look at these knights drawing in now. It's Equinox today, isn't it? 
autumnal equinox. So equal night, equal day. There is a lover of the autumn evenings and um, those cosy nights in front of the fire. Let's pop another one of those around there. Oh, here's a summer fan. I really quite like um, the change of the seasons. I'm not sure I'm a winter fan. I don't mind autumn. We can have those crisp days, blue skies, lots of walking. around there. Where am I looking bare? I need something here. Do I need this one in here? It needs to be up there, I think. And uh, what I will say is that for my first um, project, the other colour, I actually laid it all out first and then started sticking and I thought, oh gosh, why did I do that? I didn't really need to do that, just get on and stick it down. And I'm really pleased at how this one's worked out. So far, so good. So, we now need to put some kind of sentiment. Do I need something else over here? I feel like it dips in a bit there. I think I'm just going to pop another one in there. A bit of a funny shape there going on. Seeing as I've stamped and punched them, let's fill them in. Let's pop that one in there, and I've got one more here. And I think that one might go over here. Oh, I hope that didn't come across on camera, but my tummy just gurgled. <laughs> I'm not sure if that needed to be there or there. I'm faffing now. I think I'm going to go there. There you go. I'm going to call that done for the actual wreath. Just loves the summer. Mary just loves the summer. Mary, I think I might be with you. I don't mind autumn. Like I say, if we can have crisp blue skies and love those. When you see the sunrise and it's all misty and lovely. I don't mind that at all. Right, now we're going to do a sentiment and for my original, let me bring that back in, I've used some vellum and I've done stamped my sentiment in gold heat emboss. Now we've not got gold um, in this colour palette, it's more coppery. So what I'm going to do is I'm still going to use... Um, Versamark and I'm going to heat emboss but I am going to use um, because we don't have I ha actually have copper embossing powder but we don't sell it anymore so I'm going to use clear embossing let me see if I've got some clear embossing powder and I'm going to use Cajun Craze and so I just need to grab a piece of, I've got everything all over the place, a piece of vellum, so a piece of vellum paper. And I'm going to use, I'll just pop that to one side a little bit, I'm going to use a two inch circle punch. And punch a circle of vellum. I'm going to use the same sentiment just because I've already got it mounted on a block. But let's go back to the stamp set and have a look at the other sentiment. So we've got have a beautiful day, which is a bit long and skinny. And thank you, maybe not quite for a piece of home decor. This is quite nice. My heart is grateful for you, but I don't think that will fit on my two inch circle. Ooh, it might just, but it's going to be a squeeze. So I'm going to use the same one that I used on the other one, Life is Better With You. I like that. So I'm going to stamp that carefully with Versamark. And what I might just do is sit down for a moment. 
and I'm also just going to get my heat gun because it's hanging on a hook and every time I get it off it, it knocks other things off so let's get myself organized so tap 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 with my versa mark let me see if I can just position this this might be the tricky bit oh I want to pop some color on so I'm going to pop some um Cajun craze with versa mark And let's see if I can make this work. And now I'm going to add some clear embossing powder. So I store it in these tubs I'm using a spoon. And it just gives it a bit of something else, it, a bit more texture. Let's remove our open ink pads from where I'm flicking. Um, embossing powder all over the place and let's see what effect we get here so I'm going to use a clothes peg to hold it Move my stamp. and we'll go on low setting just to start with because it's vellum this might not work out we might change it to um, something else but it's worth a go yeah, I think that's not too bad at all Oops. I always turn that the wrong way. Here we go. Let's have a look. See what you think. So that's heat embossed. So you just get that raised image. Just looks a bit more special than stamped straight on with a colour. Um, so just to recap, I used Versamark and Cajun Craze together. Oh, I'll just close my ink pads and they don't dry. And then sprinkled clear embossing powder, and that's how you get that coloured heat embossed look. I mean, I could have just stamped that with copper embossing powder because we used to sell it. I've got some on my shelf, but we don't sell it anymore. So if I demonstrate it and you decide you want to buy some and then you ask me where to get it, I can't tell you. So I'm not going to use it. So now I'm going to look at putting my sentiment in the middle. And what I like is that you can see some of these leaves underneath just peeping through. Um, now I'm going to stick the vellum on and oh, Mary says it looks good. Thank you, Mary. You're being a cheerleader this evening. Thanks ever so much. Appreciated. Now sticking vellum is always one of those life's little mysteries. How do we stick vellum and not see the glue? So I'm going to use multi-purpose liquid glue in a row of dots across underneath my sentiment. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tap that. This is how we make it repositionable, if you remember last week when we were making masks. So usually it's how we make it repositionable. But as you can see, when I stick this down give it a good press it does adhere it to the base and you can't see any glue through the vellum it's a nice invisible fix so that's just one tip for fixing vellum down it's not a permanent glue so sometimes in your card making if you want to add a vellum layer you're actually better off using a tape glue just very carefully here and there or some glue dots and then kind of disguising it um, with this one it may well be that I hang this piece of home decor and this over time does drop off but it's a risk I'm going to take at the moment because it's adhered I'm just pointing that out to you so that's one way of sticking vellum down it's quite a nice way of sticking vellum down now we're very nearly finished but not quite I want to do a few finishing touches just to the whole project and one of the finishing touches I want to do is I want to just take a piece of 
fairly fine sandpaper. P, I can't remember what grade it is. Um, sometimes it has it printed on the back. P180, I think it is. But it's a fairly fine sandpaper. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to see where I've cut round the corners. Don't know if you can see. It's a little bit of a... I want to say a bit of a squareness to that, so I'm going to just gently really gently because I couldn't use a corner rounder because these corners are really big. I'm just going to gently smooth off any sort of squarenesses that my scissors may have made. Now, husband's just gone next door into the lounge and put the telly on, and I can hear um, our Prime Minister giving an address. So you don't really want to go off and listen to him, do you? You'd much rather stay with me and listen to what I'm saying. Much happier news. So that's just a little tip about sort of um, rounding off your corners. If you've used something to draw around... One thing I didn't do is, because I can't find my template, so here's my original frame, and here is underneath everything, because everything gets buried when you're working. This is my original frame, so what I didn't actually do was just offer that up, but I'm happy with that. I'm going to just finally go around with the rubber and just make sure there are no pencil marks still. just thought of something really funny so on the telly is Matt Lucas and Boris Johnson and did anyone see Matt Lucas's impression of Boris Johnson <laughs> oh. go to work don't go to work stay at home don't stay at home no wear a face mask don't wear a face mask oh it was so funny I don't know whether Andrew is watching Boris or not mum quite frankly I don't give a damn <laughs> anymore <laughs> So I'm going to pop my inside. So if you were using this as an embroidery hoop, obviously you'd have fabric sandwiched between. I don't need to sandwich my cardstock. I just need to stick it on. So I'm going to stick my cardstock onto the frame. And I'm going to finish it off with some bling. And the way I stuck this original one on was with some glue dots. But for a bit of speed, or shall I just go with glue? I'm going to go with glue dots. So I used some glue dots. And that's why I wanted this in here. Because I used my take your pick tool. Oh, I didn't want them on the wooden bit. I wanted them just on the white bit. To love a glue dot. So I'm just popping the glue dots onto the white inner frame. I'm doing one in each corner and one in the one in between. And it doesn't matter if they roll up a bit, to be honest. Ooh, they'll stick it. Have lights on. Early run these glue dots when they're cold. They're quite stiff. When I've got lights on, it gets warm. They go really sticky. There we go. So I think that will do just for the moment. And we'll stick that down. And we're going to finish off with some beautiful bling. We do like a bit of bling. I'm trying to remember, I'm really racking my brains to try and remember where I got these embroidery hoops from, but I'm sure that you'll find them if you Google square embroidery hoops. 
maybe wood effect or something like that. Now, last week I showed you these fabulous sequins that are in the autumn and winter mini, August to December mini catalogue. And they come in a box that's divided into four with a bit of a flimsy lid. So I've taken them out of the box and I've used up some of these old stamping up tubs to store them in because there's lots and lots and lots of them. So you get some red ones, some green, some gold and silver. So the gold and silver are what I used on the first project. I used the gold ones. Um... So gold, silver and white. And then the other colourway, I love these. Look how gorgeous these are. The orangey colour, but I'm going to use the sequins. And what you'll see is that they're sort of iridescent. There's a bit of an iridescence about them. And they're, oh, they're just gorgeous. So I'm going to go ahead and stick some on now. Let's do it. Let's get my um, glue, my liquid glue. So I'm going to just nip round and put a dot of glue here and there, sort of going outside, inside, outside, inside, where I can see that there's a bit of a space. It's gobbling-tastic. Yeah, let's do that. Let's have a look, see if we've got enough there. And then I'm back with my Take Your Pick tool with the putty end. Love this tool, it's just so handy. So a little bit of putty comes out of this end. This is a multi-purpose tool. On this end it has this spatula and your piercing tool. Just a simple bayonet locking fitting. This end is your putty end, which I'm going to demonstrate. And then they've got an interchangeable end for this end with your scoring ball-ended tool. Just so useful. So I'm going to pick out for loose sequins. It's just so brilliant. I'm going to pick out some of these sort of iridescent sequins. Let's see how many come out all at once. Can you see the different ones? Look, there's little hexagons. They're quite static. Let's have a look. I'm not sure if that's too golden. Let's have a look. Let's sprinkle a few out onto my desk. What's that one like? That might be the one I was after. <laughs> Stuck all over me. <laughs> what am I doing here? Too much putty. It's so static -y. I've got glue on that one now. Might go for one of these hexagons. Does that look good? Not shiny enough, not sure. What these little orange dots like. Let's just go for it. sequin upside down. I want it to be that way. <gasps> Convex. That's the word I was looking for earlier. Sorry if someone already commented that, but it just sprang into my head. Concave and convex. So my leaves are concave, my acorns are convex. I got there in the end. Sometimes my menopausal brain just drives me insane can't remember things from one minute to the next. Mm. I love these sequins. 
really do. I think they're fab. You get so many of them. I know that they're probably designed for shaker cards. Um, you know, with them being loose. Very static. Um, but I do love a sequin. I used to be slightly in love with buttons, but buttons seem to have gone out of fashion. Now, what we need to do to finish this off is have some ribbon. Let's just try and get let's try and get these static -y sequins back in the tub. They might have stuck to me. I'm not sure. They may have stuck to me. I'm not sure. Look at them, honestly. sequins everywhere now we just need to finish off with some ribbon on the top and these gorgeous trinkets come in the suite look how adorable they are so i might even just go mad and put two of those on and in the suite we have this just beautiful copper ribbon can you see that is that coming out on camera copper metallic ribbon Oh, hi, Peggy. And this lovely mint macaron wide ribbon. So because I've not decided what I'm doing with this yet, I haven't played about with this project to finish it off. I think we should have some mint macaron ribbon and some copper. And let's get some acorns on there as well. So let's see how we can do this. If I put this mint macaron under there, should be able to tie that in a bow. Let's just cut myself a good amount. Let's see. And yeah, that'll do it. Let's see if I can tie a bow with my arms outstretched. such a lovely ribbon it really is I'll just make that a pretty end I might just have to slide that towards me and I can see what I'm doing Jackie are you still there I wonder if Jackie's still watching I meant to say that my lovely melts came Jackie um, makes and sells beautiful scented wax melts and I ordered some and they came and I'm so sorry gosh I um I ordered some they came and I took photos of me opening the box and I meant to post them I'm so bad I'm so sorry Jackie um oh that's how it's done mum yeah that's how you tie a bow dead easy <laughs> oh, now I'm gonna thread these Sweet acorns. I'm going to give that ribbon a nip on the end just to make it thin to see if it'll go through. There we go, there's one. Let's have a couple. Yes, yeah, so Jackie, sorry, if you are still watching, I will um, post a picture. I'm so delighted with them, they're beautiful. And I'll try and um, remember to post a link. Or if, if you're still there, please comment what your page is. Please comment your page name. And then people who are watching, if you like wax melts, you can order them from Jackie. And she sends them in the post. And they are beautiful. And she has all sorts of fragrances. And they're, I'm just going to say this, really affordable. Very affordable, Jackie. I ordered some violet ones because you know me and Pama Violet. I love Pama Violet fragrance, anything and flavour, anything. And um, oh, they're lovely, really nice. So, I can't 
can't really see what I'm doing. I'm just going to try and prop that up. Now, what I'm going to do with this copper ribbon is I'm going to give it a bit of a um, spiral. So what I am going to use is, if I can just grab one from somewhere. Oh, it's a bit of a manky one because I've been stirring paint. But these bamboo skewers, another piece of invaluable equipment in your craft room. And I'm just going to roll. The ribbon around the bamboo skewer. Oh, it's just coming off at the end. Let's try and keep that on there. And if I just hold it, pinch it with my fingers, the heat of my fingers, I'm hoping I could actually use my heat gun. Be a bit ambidextrous here. Just go on heat setting number one. I'll try not to burn my fingers. Gives it a curl and I might trim that down yet but here we go this is pretty much the last thing how are we doing for time mm -mm, not done bad so what's everybody enjoy is everybody enjoying um bits of home decor in between cards because to be honest as much as I love making cards Sometimes I get a bit carded out and I really love making home decor. Right, let me just do that again. You don't need much heat. Just that little bit of heat. And in fact, your fingers, the heat from your fingers usually does this. So that's gone. That, instead of it spiralling, it's gone curled up I think it's because I'm right hand left hand and what I should have done is actually spiraled it the other way let's see if I can get that to spiral there we go and if I just it's just not quite tight enough that one I don't think I gave it as much heat much there I think I might just trim this side off a little bit but I think we're pretty much there there you go I think that we could call that a ta-da moment ta-da so I'm just going to really quickly recap and then I'm going to come back to camera so we've used a bundle beautiful autumn stamp set which is two-step stamp set so I used the um first image full strength ink and then I did this image second generation or stamped off stamped on in the same colour just to quickly colour in those leaves and I could have done exactly the same for these images as well you can see with the acorn you could actually have the um, base of the acorn one colour and the main nut of the acorn another colour oh and I will just show you one I've been playing with alchemy this, this here's another box of nature I happen to have on my desk like you do when you're slightly bonkers about nature look there's a real oak leaf and I made it gold I'm a magician and here is an acorn oh hang on that one's coming out here's an acorn that I dipped did a gold dip and what I did with this when you collect acorns they often fall out of their cup so you need to put a a drop of hot glue inside the cup and glue the nut or the kernel back in and then just squish your acorn into your Versamark ink pad I know I'm going off paste I'm sorry to keep you but this is what I did so here's here's an acorn I didn't do earlier so I would take this acorn here and I just squish it into oh look you see they fall out the kernels fall out of the cups squish it into your versamark ink pad so you just get versamark on the tip can you see that is it focusing then sprinkle your heat embossing powder and heat it don't burn your fingers use a clothes peg or something or stick a pin in it 
to hold it. I stuck a um, darning needle in it to hold it. And then heat it. And then you get these gorgeous, if you want some pieces of um, natural stuff to decorate, maybe at Christmas time. You can do the same thing with fir cones. But the leaf worked really well. With the leaf, I just pressed the whole thing. You can see it's a real leaf. It's still green on the other side. I just pressed the whole thing into Versamark ink, sprinkled it with heat embossing powder, and then heat set it with the heat gun, and it's just turned into a gold leaf, literally a golden leaf. It's like I was an alchemist. Does anyone remember Blackadder? It's purest gold. <laughs> ah, okay. So let's look at the two projects side by side. First project used, oh, have a look at that. There we go. So the colours I used in the first project were, let me point them out to you. Let's just, let's just make this look a bit more attractive, shall we? So let me point them out to you. I used Bumblebee for the yellow. I used Merry Merlot for the red, I used Early Espresso for the brown, and I used Soft Suede for the oak leaves, and then I used Gold Heat Embossing for the um, sentiment with that vellum still, so it's all on, oh bless you Kim's off out on a nature trail, <laughs> um, so I used very vanilla thick cardstock for both projects and my second project I used mint macaron crumb cake early espresso and Cajun craze and I finished them off with the sequins from the um, lots and lots of sequins pack I can't remember what it's called but the um, stamp set and the punches are from the beautiful autumn bundle which is part of the gilded autumn suite so I'm just going to switch you back round and say a few words of finishing off, hopefully without dropping my camera off there. There we go. And I'm here. Hello. <gasps> Thank you for watching and staying with me tonight. It's been fun. I've really enjoyed making those projects. And if I do remember where I got the... Let me just sort that out. There we go. If I do remember where I got those... Um, embroidery hoops from you know you could use just a regular embroidery hoop as well they're really useful because they're made from um, a really nice usually like a pine color bent wood and you can actually use um, just plain uh, emulsion paint match pots to color them so you can just paint them up change the colors so that's a little tip as well and you can just cut your cardstock in exactly the same way and stick it on so have some fun with embroidery hoops just have some fun maybe creating some home decor pieces don't be afraid to have a go because it's dead easy i hope you've seen just it wasn't even an hour and a half really to make those pieces um just go for it and you know what at the end of the day what do i say in class it's only a piece of card and a bit of ink so have a play please have a play um, and I'd love to see what you make as well so don't forget to post in either the crafty beehive um, if you're not in the crafty beehive then join I think it's free to join I think you can just request to join um, it's an open group that I've created um, or just post to me post on my page where are my notes buried my notes under various leaves and things so let me just recap. If you got all of the messages that I said right at the beginning and you're clear about everything, then you're free to go. You can go now. Thank you for being here. Love you all. And I'll see you next week. Mwah. And if you didn't get the messages at the beginning, I'm going to recap because there's a lot going on. So important from 11 o'clock tonight until 11 o'clock tomorrow night, flash stamp sale selected stamps only there is a list i'm not publishing it i make no apologies for not publishing the list because it's a complicated list in various languages with no images so it's not very helpful to find out which stamp sets are on the selected stamp sets list with 15 percent off for 24 hours only then hop across to my shop sometime tomorrow or 
sometime late this if you're a late to bed person go on from 11 o'clock this evening there will be that image that will say stamp sale 15 percent off if you click that it will take you to where all the special offers are and they should be collected together you shouldn't have to hunt around for them but there are some really good stamps on that list um i've got a few of them but i've also i'm ordering quite a number of them because 15 percent off is a good discount um if you are a regular customer of mine and you live locally please don't order direct through my website store because you will pay full 495 shipping please send me a message don't comment here on this page if you comment here on this page the comment could get lost I don't get notifications for comments but please send me a message um, and probably just if you're a friend to my Izzy Isabel Shashinsky Facebook Messenger or WhatsApp or text if you've got my number just send me a message telling me what you'd like to order and I will add you onto um, the group order that will be going in at about 10 o'clock tomorrow night um, I might stay up late but it is a work night just saying the other thing that I've got going on is if you want to join in with the next make along live with the kit and the stamp set now I will show you because I didn't show you up front I am going to be using the have a hoot stamp set this beauty with the owls so I'm going to be doing a class basically online using the have a hoot stamp set now the stamp set is 21 pounds i need your orders for that class by this friday at the latest and if you buy the stamp set you will get the kit of cards pre-cut and all the bits and pieces that you need to make up the cards or the projects there may even be a gift box or gift packaging um, I haven't designed it yet because I haven't got my set. So as soon as I get my set, I'll be designing the class. But trust me, you always love my classes. So just stay with me. And if you want to make exactly what I make, then that is the stamp set. So if you order the stamp set, you get the free kit for class. If you're local, you get it delivered to your door. If you're not local, I'll have to put it in the post. So that's why I need the orders for this Friday. If you want to go large then you can also order the bundle so it comes with a die set and the bundle costs 47.50 and if you order the bundle you get the kit for class free and you get a pack of designer series paper for free and it will be a full pack of the designer series paper that I'm actually going to use in that class which is and I'm sure I've page marked it somewhere it's the perfectly plaid designer series paper that I'm going to include in that class. If you just get the class kit, you'll just get little bits of that designer series paper, enough just to make the projects. But if you order the bundle, you'll get a full pack. So that's 48 sheets. They're the six by six pieces. You get 48 sheets, um, 12 double sided designs, and you get four pieces of each, four sheets of each. So it's a good offer that I'm offering this month free class free DSP if you go for the bundle I just wanted to really stress that and take my time to explain that because I know I always rattle on and I've got lots of information to get across so that's stamp sale need your orders tomorrow because I'll be putting the order in tomorrow night class with the stamp set they have a hoot stamp set um, which is definitely not in the sale um, I need your orders by Friday at the latest if you want both then you can send me your order for both tomorrow and you'll only pay one lot of shipping which will be a pound it's always a pound from me um, so yeah that's up to you if you would like to join my team the offer is still on until the end of September that you can join for £99 you get to choose £130 worth of kit from any of the catalogues and it's fully customized where you can choose anything but in september you also get two um two extra stamp sets and you also get um some pre-cut card stock 
like a kit to ready make cards um, and some instructions so that's a good offer and I'm also offering if you buy a let me not drop that on the floor stamp and cut and emboss machine from me the new machine before the end of September I will send you a free paper trimmer Am I displaying that beautifully? Free, completely free, brand new, in a box. Can't do without it. If you buy one of the new stamp and cut and emboss. And I just want to point out that the stamp and cut and emboss machine comes with everything that you need to get you going. So it comes with the, um, the main platform. It comes with the die cut plate two cutting plates obviously nice clean ones not a not a scruffy one and the speciality plate which is for embossing i just took delivery this week of the mag new magnetic um plate which is fantastic it's got a self-healing mat on this side so you can see i've already cut die cut something and it's self-healing and it's completely magnetic. I will do a demonstration hopefully next week um, of that magnetic sheet and just point out some of the features and why it differs from the old one. Um, and I will just say that if you don't have the new machine, no night mom. <laughs> if you don't have the new machine, the new magnetic plate will work in any other old machine. You do, Stampin' Up! won't guarantee it, but it will work. I've had people, other demonstrators and other friends who've used it in other machines, and I've tried it in my old machine. Trade name I can't mention, um, but you know which one I have. And it will work. You just have to work around with the different shims, because you may be using dies from another manufacturer anyway, so you always have to work around with shims. So if you want to ask me questions about that, then please do. Um, the other thing to mention is if you want to just save the date, the 3rd of October, that's a week on Saturday, 10 o'clock until 12 o'clock, I'm going to be doing a live in collaboration with Alison, Alison Langford of Inspired Creations, and you will be able to make cards with us and chat. We're going to do that in a um, messenger group, I think, so it'll be a live We'll be doing fun things. It's a really nice, light, light, frothy world card making day. We're going to make some cards. It's going to be good. It's going to be fun. And you'll be able to chat as well. So that'll be really good and interactive. Alison's going to have a mystery stamping session. And I'm going to do one card three different ways. So there you go, just to give you a clue. And you're going to join in. It's going to be great. So just watch out. We will be advertising that. And I think... That is quite enough from me. I've had a lot of information to put across. Hopefully I've been clear about it. But my key thing is that flash 24 hour sale. Please don't ask me to order stamp sets as a comment on my page. Please, please, please message me. Because I, tomorrow is a work day as well. I cannot be on Facebook while I'm at work. So I need you to message me so that the messages will come through on my phone and I can add your orders to my order list and um, I'll be sure to get it. So if you do message me, I will reply. If you don't get a reply, you'll know I've not received your message. So you must try again a different way. Lovely. Fabulous. Thank you everyone for being here tonight. I hope you've enjoyed the project that I've shown you and I hope it's inspired you to go and make a piece of home decor and to get into that autumn vibe. But just stay safe, whatever happens. Keep stamping and stay here and keep joining me. Lots of love. Bye. <laughs>